Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about JN and MBPT for solar PV battery powered DLDC motor. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So here we are going to design the system for 24 volt so that means the BLDC motor rating, rating is 24 volt 40 watts motor ok so this rating is taken from the following website so here you can come that means so you can see this website so so this is the rating of this motor so here you can see that the rated voltage of the BLDC motor is 24 volt. The rated speed is 3000 rpm. The rated torque is 0 0.125 Newton meter. The rated power is around 39 watts. And the rated current is around 2.5 amps. The peak current is 7.5 amps. The peak torque is 0 0.375. And the inertia of the motor is 0 0.33 and the torque constant is 0 0.05 newton meter per amps and then voltage constant which is equal to 5.235 volt divided by kilo rpm and the line to line resistance is 1.35 ohms and the line to line inductance is 0 0.9 milli entry this is the same data we are going to use for design that that means just go to advanced mode and then go to compute from standard manufacturer specification ok just you click this data and then you can feed the data here that means this is the data so we need to feed here that means here you need to choose uh, the trapezoidal back EMF and then the line to line resistance is is 1.35 ohms and then inductance is 0 0.9 milli entry and torque constant right here you can see that the torque constant is 0 0.05 right so just you have to put 0 0.05 newton meter per amps okay. and then you can feed number of pole per right so you need to fix a number of pole per so here number of pole is 8 so pole per is 4 no problem and then you can see that um, the moment of inertia so here is rotor inertia is uh, 0 0.33 kg centimeter square so here you have to change 0 0.33 and then you have to change to kg centimeter square okay and then you can click compute block parameters so this is a block parameter we have computed so already computed the parameter you can see the parameter detail here so the resistance right state of its resistance is 0 0.675 and state of its inductance is 0 0.0045 and then we have to click apply So here you can see that same parameter will be reflected here. That means flux linkage, the voltage constant, right? Here voltage constant is 0.0236, right? So here um, go to this website. So here you can see that the torque constant is 0.0236. Okay. So the data will be that means we are using the manufacturing data for uh, this DLDC motor ok so and then so you have to design it means this is for here the 24 volt uh, 40 watts build this motor the small size motor ok so here we are going to drive this motor by means of uh, uh, solar panel and uh, battery ok so I am going to choose this solar panel more than that build this motor power. 
so i am going to assume that power of this holder pv is equal to 100 watts okay the voltage at maximum power point is 17 volt and then current at maximum power point is 2.941 amps and i am going to consider two parallel string two parallel string so the single string power is I mean single panel power is uh, 14 watts so we are using two panels so total power is around 100 watts okay and then you get uh, that means voltage is 17 and 2.94 at the standard condition right and I'm going to choose the battery so battery I'm going to choose the 12 volt battery with the 100 EH rating okay and then here you need to design this uh, that means we are going to use uh, the boost converter here and here you are using bi-relation converter so these two converter can be designed based upon the power rating so here the, the power rating of solar PV is 100 watts ok the voltage is 17 volt the voltage requirement in here it will be 24 volt ok so and then here the voltage in the battery side is nominal voltage is 12 volt ok the requirement in the output rating will be 24 volt so i am going to consider same power rating for the battery also 100 watts so based upon this detail we need to design lnc okay so for that we created the equation that means so this equation is to for designing that uh, boost convert of the pv side so this is a value of lnc and then this is the design of a vibration converter in the battery side so this is the equation and then this is the value of lnc okay the same value going to be used here l and c and then here we are using l and c value for the vibration converter from the calculation okay this one so this one for the solar boost converter and this one for a battery bidirectional converter LNC value. So next <coughs> so next you have to apply A in an MPPT. So here this boost converter will be controlled by means of A in an MPPT. So for that I am going to measure two input uh, one is irradiation temperature okay um, so the the duration temperature irradiation temperature can be processed via this NNMPPT so it will generate the reference voltage so this reference voltage will be compared with the actual PV voltage and then it will be processed via PA controller right so this PA controller will be generated the duty cycle the duty cycle is process via petroleum generator so this petroleum generator is going to generate the pulse for this uh, boost converter so this pulse is going to be given here this pulse will be given to this IGBT so is this NN right neural network can be put try to extract the maximum power from the PV, uh, maximum power from the PV okay in all uh, kind of irradiation and temperature condition okay and then here we need to control this uh, bi-direction converter so based upon voltage control method that means here the output uh, that means this is DC bus okay so we need to maintain voltage around 24 volt here right so we need to control this okay for that we have to measure that voltage across this uh, this inverter okay or DC, DC bus okay so and then it will be compared with the 24 volt okay so next you have to use voltage controller like PA controller so the error between reference and the actual voltage this process via PA controller and then it will be generate the, the duty cycle okay. the duty cycle is going to be processed via petroleum generator so it, it will generate the pulse for that the bidirectional converter ok so this one so this one going to be controlled this two IGPT in the bidirectional converter you have to maintain the voltage across this uh, DC bus always equal to 24 volt okay and then here um, the real DC motor going to be drive be drive from solar PV as well as battery so whenever 
we be having more than 40 watts right then it going to be drive the vldc motor and also we going to charge the battery when the pv power goes less than 40 so bad during that time battery will comes to supply power to that the vldc motor along with the this pv panel okay so this is the logic of uh, that been power flow in this system okay so based upon pv power availability uh, the battery going for charging mode or charging mode okay and also drive the build dc motor okay so next we go for designing of uh, that neural network mbpt so this is a code used for uh, designing that neural network mbpt okay so then you got to simulate this one so you can see my youtube channel yearly videos okay i explained about neural network mbpt for solar pv system so you will get some better idea when you watch the previous videos okay so try to find out that video in my youtube channel so after that after after completing this execution so finally you get neural network so this neural network only we are going to use in that uh, mbpt model here okay so it will be generated the reference voltage so based upon uh, irradiation temperature so if you want more detail about this neural network in mbpt so try to go to my youtube channel or my website right so comes to this website and then you can search that neural network in mbpt okay in this blog right so we will get the better idea about that okay now i am going to simulate this model so here you can see that uh, I am going to fix the irradiation for that solar PV that means uh, 1600, 400 and 600 so it going to be changed every 1 second right? and then here I am going to fix the, the, the torque for that motor right which is equal to 0 0.125 Newton meter and then we have to simulate this model So I'm going to show the result of PV battery and battery SOC and then power measurement in the different section and then speed of the machine and then torque of the machine and then state of current and the EMF of the BLDC motor. So now we can see that at uh, 1000 watts per meter square the voltage is maintained at 70 volt in the PV side and then uh, the PV current is maintained at uh, 5.8 amps because we are using two panel in pa parallel the single panel having rating of 2.9 amps and we are getting maximum power around 100 watts. So now we can see that uh, the current initial that means battery current around minus 2 amps so battery during that 1000 watts per meter square condition that battery going for charging mode so you can see that the SOC of the batteries keep on charging from 50 percentage to 50.006 percentage and then here you can see this is the power of the PV converter right the output power of the PV converter so it's around um, 60 okay and then here you can see the power of the battery converter okay is around uh, uh, nearly around this minus 30 35 watts right and then this is load power right so once again you need to check the pv converter power so now it's not a pv converter power so that is a low power right that means we need to measure power from here okay so you need to put another measurement and then i'm going to use this one and i'm going to change to the input inverted current okay so here i need to change to
input in what to turn okay so now i am simulating this model simulate this model So now you can see that the, this is a PV converter power. The, uh, here we are having the PV power generate, generation is around 100 watts during that 100 watts per meter square. So battery is current having minus 2 amps and then PV having 5.9 amps. And then the associate, associate the batteries keep on charging from 50% age, right? So this is the PV converter power is now is around 95 watts, right? and then the battery converter power is around minus 35 and then the load power load power nothing but the power input to that inverter right, is around uh, 60 right 60 watts okay and then so voltage across that uh, the inverter is is maintaining at around 24 volt so this is the speed of the vldc motor and then this is the emf of the then vldc uh, motor and then stator current and uh, back came up from the VLDC motor. So now you can see that after one second the, the irradiation change from 1000 to 600. So here you can see that the power generation from the PV will be 60 watts. So here the power uh, is uh, 40 watts is uh, reduced from that uh, PV panel because of uh, irradiation reduction. So because of that what happened the battery current is changed from minus 2 amps to nearly 1 amp side. So the battery now is discharging more okay so that's why so so the batteries discharge from uh, 50.006 to some level right and then you can see that the change of battery converter power from minus to positive that mean minus means battery charging mode positive means battery in a discharging mode and that mean uh, here the because of change in power in the pv right so the battery change from charging mode to discharging mode okay so based upon that uh, power from the pv so the battery uh, change the state from charging to discharging and discharging uh, charging mode and also is continuously supplying the power to the load that means continuously we are supplying the power to the vldc motor okay so this is a working of this model so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification of good upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye